Hey, Marlon, congratulations and welcome to Philadelphia. Uh, thank you guys for having me. I'm we'll happy, get to, started happy here. to be here. We'll get started here with Chris Franklin and then John McMullen. Okay. Hey, Marlon, welcome to Philly. Uh, your cousin Talanoa was drafted today and now you were selected by the Eagles. I mean, what does right. it feel like? What's it feel like for your family and have you talked to him since uh since you were drafted? Yeah. No, nah, yeah. Once I seen uh T uh Talano get drafted, I was I, I texted him right away and gave my congrats to him and his family. Cause he's up in Oregon. I'm out here in LA, but excited for him and his opportunity. And then I'm excited to be eager. I had John and then had Press. Hey Marlon, uh congratulations. Uh welcome to Philadelphia. Curious how much contact you had with the Eagles in the pre-draft process and how much interest they showed in. Yeah, I talked to them a, a, a few times. Uh, met them at the Senior Bowl. I spoke with them there and uh, talked to them on the phone uh, with the position uh, with the D-line coach and then uh, spoke with their scouts too. So I was in contact with them a lot. Sorry about that. Go ahead, Ed, and then Rob Motti. Hey Marlon, congratulations. Um, how much do you know about the Eagles, uh, their roster, and the guys up front? Uh, and how excited are you to kind of get your career started here? Yeah, it's it's it's, it's funny. Uh, my my oldest brother, he's a big Eagles fan. So every Sunday when he's watching the NFL, like he's always talking about his Eagles and uh, just understanding them as a as a D line. They have a pretty experienced uh, and very talented D line with uh, Fletcher Cox and Brandon Graham. And uh, Javon Hargrave, so I'm just excited to go th go up there and uh, learn from those guys, pretty much. Hey Marlon, what were your expectations coming into the draft? Where where did you see yourself going, and what are you, what do you consider to be your biggest strengths? What can uh, Philly expect out of you? Yeah, I mean, you always want to uh, hold high expectations for yourself, but whatever happens, happens. You can control what you can't control. So excited to be an Eagle, um, and I feel like I could bring uh, depth to the Eagles' uh, defensive line, and then I'm I'm a solid run defender. Uh, I got strong hands. I'm violent, and uh, and uh, excited just to learn from those other guys too. So just to get my game better, pretty much. We'll go to Zach and then Bo. Hey Marlon, uh, you've been starting now for a few years, but you really seem to come on this past year. Uh, what was the reason for that? Um, just, uh, just, uh, continuing to stay dedicated during quarantine. I know this was a crazy year this, uh, this past year, 2020. Um, so just trying to stay uh, consistent with my training and things like that. Just so once the season did happen, I was, I was ready. So, uh, that's where I felt like I took that next step and then just continuing to get better with my, uh, with the, with USC and then my coaches as well. And what made you want to leave early? Uh, I don't know. I just felt like it was a, a decision that me and my – that I had with myself, spoke with the coaches, and then primarily spoke with my family. And we believe that that was the best thing to do. We'll go to Bo and then Les. Hey, Marlon, congratulations. Um, is it true you didn't start playing football until high school? And uh, if so, what, what what kind of sports did you play growing up? Yeah, so um, growing up, I played like – uh, like just go to the park and play football and and, uh, and basketball and things like that, but didn't start competitively competitively playing football uh, until my freshman year, um, and then started uh, wrestling in high school as well. So those were the main two sports I was I was doing in high school. Thank you. Last and then Ruben Frank. Hey Marlon, uh, I was yeah. looking at uh, draft reports and a lot of people thought you'd go a couple rounds sooner. Uh, why do you think that didn't happen? And there was something about, you know, the teams had medical concerns or something. What what do you make of that? Yeah, I mean, I guess everything happens for a reason. I'm excited to be an Eagle. I mean, I can only control what I can control. And uh, just blessed, the, blessed and thankful for the Eagles for giving me that opportunity. So I'm just excited to get up there and get to work. Was there a medical issue that teams asked you about? Um, Yeah, that's something I like just try to keep to my uh, – keep uh, – in private, if that's okay. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Go ahead, Rube. 
Hey, Marlon, welcome to Philadelphia. Um, I wanted to ask you about the Senior Bowl experience and, and how big an opportunity you felt that was to kind of put yourself on the map and, and go up against some of the better guys in the country and how much you think you helped yourself with that performance. Yeah, um, I was uh, blessed to get, get the invitation. So I just wanted to go up there and be a sponge with the NFL uh, team, just trying to see what it was like to get coached by an NFL uh, football team. And then just trying to go out there and, and, and uh, show my strengths and uh, prove that I can't compete with these uh, with the best seniors in the country. So and I felt like I did well. So just trying to continue to keep working and, and put my head down and, and try to get better. We'll go to Martin and then Ed Kraft. Hey, Marlon. Uh, sorry if you might have been asked, asked this a little earlier, but coming in along with Milton Williams, you know, another defensive tackle, you know, with, with Fletch and, and Javon Hargrave um, already established. I mean, what's it like to kind of come in and, and learn from those guys and then, you know, maybe be able to take over as soon as next year or the year after? Yeah. I mean, uh, I feel like this is an opportunity of a lifetime. Uh, you don't get coached by, uh, you don't like come into a, a thing like this where you have Fletcher Cox as your nose tackle and Javon Hargrave as your three technique. So I'll be excited just to, to learn from those guys and, and uh, continue to better my game. Hey, Marlon, I just wanted to follow up on the wrestling question. I'm always interested in that. Um, what sure. kind of wrestler were you and what, what did that teach you about playing the defensive line? Yeah, um, it teaches a lot of things, just how to use your hands, how to use uh, – like use the body to your advantage uh, when you're wrestling another person and then leverage things like that. So it definitely helped me with football. Um, honestly, that was, that was the main reason why I did want to uh, wrestle was just to, um, to, to get better at football because I would have played basketball if I didn't do wrestling. Do you know who Gable Stevenson is? Yes, sir. I know who he is. Okay. Pretty good wrestler, yeah. huh? For sure. Yep. Sure. Thanks, All man. Right. Appreciate it. Are there any more questions for Marlon? No. All right, thank you for taking the time, Marlon. No, thank you guys.